Well, it wouldn't be Exmoor without a bit of rain, would it? Which came from nowhere. Yes, it was clouding over, but then all of a sudden, boof, and it's still raining now. However, because this is the most wonderful car in the world, it has this trick. As I said, the roof opens whenever you want. And even, I mean, it's not raining heavily, but even in this, I would choose to be like Al Fresco. <laughs> Welcome back to Farmer Talk. Well, tarmac trails, really. And an introduction to my new smart Cabrio. <laughs> Very smart it is too. <laughs> Just going through Bridgetown and uh, yeah, I'll tell you all you need to know about this little car. So here straight away without further ado is my sum up of this car this is a joyful very happy little car there that's all you need to know <laughs> simples so we'll combine this with tarmac trails, a sort of tarmac trails, we'll have a little drive and rather than just go nerdily on about specs and how this is this and that's that, uh, we're, we're just on the 396, the valley road, gorgeous road, uh, but not for long because up here let's turn left and go to Winsford. And actually the idea is to head off to a little stream called Portford Water, which no one will know, it doesn't mean anything, that's what it's called on the map. It's just a nice little bridge uh, up on Exmoor and uh, Heather's looked quite nice last week, we'll see what it's like this week. Right, what have we got here then? Smart 4-2 Cabrio. Cabrio is the important bit. 900cc triple engine bolted to a twin clutch, dual clutch, automatic transmission with, and this is a spec thing on this, paddle shift. That's the important bit. Loads of room in here, and more importantly, a really comfortable driving position and simply fabulous seats it's one of the few cars few sporting cars i don't have to have the seat right back in yes there's some luggage room um some uh it's not a range rover <laughs> but once again if you're going to come as i will compare it with sporting so-called fun cars uh it's not bad at all not bad at all no but piece de resistance, as they say in Ireland, is this roof. And one touch of the button at any speed, well, pretty much any speed, and the, the roof electrically goes back to the first stage of the roll bar, and you can shut it again. So on in, a day of inclement weather, etc., if you're keen to have the roof off, which I am, open and shut, press again, and it goes down to the position it's in now, and then if you're really keen, and of course for pretentious filming reasons, you can take out these rails, there's rails here, and they go into, uh, into the boot. 
and they take up a bit of space but they're not too bad uh, it, it's sort of sensible and you can do that on the fly uh, this is really pretty this is Winsford right tarmac trails but I mean uh, I'll just slow down here um, yeah lovely this thing gorgeous old bridge there and uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of this uh, stream here but it's a lovely little ford <laughs> don't know what the wading depth of a smart is but it, it's obviously that deep isn't it there's um winsford's well worth a little look there's sort of medieval church up here just up there uh, perhaps could do with a bit of rendering but um still looks really good and uh, something about it being mentioned in the doomsday book so this that and the other so yeah lots to see and uh, thank you sir mr happy right so where are we going now up a hill <laughs> you're always going up a hill on exmoor we're heading, where are we going? Towards Withypool. So we're going to set off out of here. Yeah, so, ah, oh, obviously this is a vet. I've just not long bought this thing. I have owned smarts before and uh, we just pull up here and squeeze through there. This is one of those roads that you think is wide and no problem but it's not quite wide enough to just drive past each other. Never mind. So yeah like so. Very thoughtful thank you. Yeah I have owned in the previous models early 2000s and the Smart is a car that a lot of people won't know about or would even have considered. And then even if they did, they'd laugh, which, which is fine. I get that. I fully understand the ridicule and how I must question my masculinity, uh, etc. I, I just, I take things for what they are. And this latest 453 Smart, that's the, uh, the, the factory number lecture, the model number. In fact, 2015, 16 onwards. This is a 2016. Uh, ground up design and recaptured the old, gorgeous charm that the first smarts had. This interior, yeah, come on. Now let's, let me talk about this interior. It's one of the best car interiors I know, not because it's the best made, etc. Although it's surprisingly squeak and rattle free. But the sheer wacky exuberant <laughs> style of the thing. Ah, I just love it. This, of course, as a friend pointed out, is the seaside interior. Smarts usually come in wacky exterior colours. And you can have, obviously, wacky interior colours, but most of them tend to be, most of them have black leather interiors, with, which is the wrong way around for me. I would rather have a, a nice exterior colour and then go mad on the inside. And this is a, when I first saw pictures of this interior, I'm, whoa, crikey. Uh, the more I live with it, the more I like with it. It's a bright, cheerful, happy, into happy, 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 happy. I'm not. I'm all grumpy. I'm grumpy. <laughs> so, Comas Cross. What have we got here? Well, we could go left to Dulverton's Tar Steps. That's worth a look. Simmons Battling for Exford. So we're really up on Exmoor. And, uh, but we're going to wiggle across here and down into a witty pool. Just 
just amble down the hill here. Yeah, I, also, you can't, this is a petrol smart. You can't get petrol smarts anymore. I think they stopped making them in 18. Uh, there's a few 19 Regis around, but they were built earlier. They're now all electric, which as we know is no good to man the beast because, uh, you know, if you live in a country residence, you've just about got enough range to get to the end of your drive and back again. So it has to be petrol, doesn't it? And, uh, and this thing goes back, the road tax, insurance is group nine, so, oh, mm, and road tax is zero. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But, so I was looking for one of these. This is the 90 horsepower one, which is, which is important. And the spec is fantastic. It really, it's got just about everything you get. Sat nav, the paddle shift, the auto box, as I've said. This is a lovely little road, by the way. Uh, it's got this interior, it's got cruise control, it's got lane things, it's got a rear camera, it's got heated seats, it's got, it's, it's, you know, all those essential things that you just cannot live without. Worthy pool. Now this is a pretty little village as well. Just coming up to the, on the right up here is the Royal Oak, which is a pretty well known uh, place to stay. Really well known pub, well, inn, I should say. Happy smiles. And then there's a really cute uh, disused filling station down here, an old petrol station, which is now a sort of cafe and feature. I'll just go real slow here. And you can see there, now nobody's there at the moment, etc. but tea rooms and the lovely petrol pumps. And uh, oh, it is open, open daily. And then we come across the Baal. And... Uh, with an enthusiastic white van. <laughs> and that's a lovely bridge there. Try and get some pictures of that. So then we'll come out here and then Sandy Way. Yeah, we we'll just amble up here. Could go back that way over there. Some lovely lane over that way. This is the, these are the back roads of Exmoor that fortunately aren't used that often and uh, but are gorgeous and we're just about to head out onto the moor where we'll see some more <laughs> oh I'm sorry and then this little stream that I go on and going on about and there we go, suddenly it's moorland. And as we're going out of Withypool, you will not fall off your chair to learn that Withypool Common is on the right. And you'll never guess what the hill is up there on the left. Yeah, Withypool. It's a bit cloudy earlier, but it's, it's quite a nice day now. And there we go. How about that for a bit of moorland? Ah, oh, oh, this is just so wonderful. Love it up here. Exmoor has huge appeal. See the uh, heather up there on the bank. It's perhaps going off, not as vibrant as it was a week ago. And this is the Portford Water. Portford Water <laughs> sounds like a really great lake, doesn't it? But I mean, I'll just drive through there. We'll come back to this. But um, I mean, not the most dramatic. It's just a lovely little spot. Cut back on ourselves and 
Yeah. As I say, you're always going uphill in Exmoor. Especially on a push bike. So this is proper moorland, sheep everywhere, deer, and uh, a cyclist having a look, which is fair enough, actually, having a pedal, having a push. I do, I mean, I don't know whether I take my hat off or question the sanity, these cyclists that are loaded up with saddlebags and uh, pedalling away, keeps you fit. Doesn't keep me fit because I don't do it. So, wonderful moorland. Mm. Well, there you go, a little bit of Exmoor. We'll just nip back down to the uh, Portford bridge and uh, see what we can find. go. A tarmac trail stroke definitive car review of what the silliest car on the planet. Nearly. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> Look forward to more videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, love to know what you think. Bye for now.